Okay, we will start with uh, the next problem, problem number 4. In this problem, the market price of a share is rupees 155. Following information is available about market condition, dividends and market price after one year. Find the expected returns of the share and the variability of the return. So here the information given in different way, market condition is given, probability is given, market price is given and dividend is given. So market condition, bullish, stable, bearish and probability for all the three, 0 0.25, 0 0.5 and 0.25. Market price is given for all the three different situations, 200 rupees, 160 rupees and 150 rupees and the dividend for all the three different market conditions 15 rupees 10 rupees and 5 rupees so with this we have to find out the expected returns as well as the standard deviation that is nothing but variation but what we have to observe in this problem is we don't have the returns given in the problem but we have probability so we don't have the returns given in the problem so first our computation should be to find the net revenue or we call it as returns. So there is a first computation which we have to do with the information available. Then we have to go for the calculation of uh, the expected returns and the standard deviation. So look at the formula for computation of net revenue or we call it as the net returns. The formula goes like this, total returns minus market price at the beginning of the year is equal to net returns. So in this total revenue or total return will have two parts. One is market price at the end of the year plus dividend that will be equal to total returns minus market price at the beginning of the year or a particular period maybe even a month also will be given in the problem is equal to net returns that is the one which we take it over here for the further calculation so let us go for three different situations so one is for bullish market price is in the end 200 rupees plus dividend 15 rupees then market price at the beginning it is there in the first paragraph that is rupees 155 that is going to be the one which we have to find the value that is going to be the returns 200 rupees plus 15 rupees 215 minus 155 that is going to be 60 rupees next for Stable 160 rupees plus 10 rupees minus 155 that amounts to 15 rupees. Then for bearish 150 rupees plus 5 rupees minus 155. So 150 plus 5, 155 minus 155, that is going to be 0. So this is the first we have to work it out. So this is the result. The result is nothing but net returns or total revenue or net revenue that we have to consider here for the calculation of expected returns and the standard deviation. So let me substitute these values over here for this table. So whenever return is not given, that has to be calculated first, then we have to go for the further calculation. The probability is given in the problem, 0 0.25, 0 0.5 and 0.25, total we can find that is equal to 1. So after ensuring the total profit probability, we can go for calculation of expected return that is nothing but R into P, R represents return, P represents uh, probability. So 60 into 0 0.25, 0 0.25 into 
15 15 into 0 0.5 7.5 0 into 0 0.25 is 0 so anything multiplied by 0 is 0 so we have to go for adding the average returns that, on, that only will become expected returns so 15 plus 7.5 22.5 so expected return is 22.5 percent. This is the first step in this calculation. So expected return is done. Now we have to go for finding out the standard deviation or we call it as the variability. So for that the formula goes like this that is V is equal to R minus ER whole square. So it is a deviation or let us substitute over here first one. 60, 15 and 0 minus the ER value for each one of it. So here if you go for example for the first one you get it as 60 minus 22.5, 37.5. Similarly for this you are going to find 15 minus 22.5 is minus 7.5 and this is going to be again minus 22.5 so we have to go for whole square and we are going to get the values therein so the values goes like this 1406.25 then 56.25 then 506.25 so we have to square these values you are going to get the deviation then after getting the deviation square we have to go for weighted deviation square we have to multiply here the result of deviation with probability so let us substitute the probability then we have to multiply the deviations so here we are going to get weighted deviation square so weighted deviation square when you multiply with probability you are going to get